Hi, Bagya Ma. How are Hello. you? <laughs> Hi, Ma. Hi, it's raining heavily over here. I don't know if anybody can hear that. Though. It's raining heavily. We are waiting for rain, Ma. <laughs> yeah? Uh, does it rain like or... properly there or? No, it doesn't. Okay. Hello. Hello, Simranji. Hey, Pramod. Hello. Hi. I like your new hairstyle. Hey, thank um, you. It is an old one. It's just that I have not clipped my hair. Okay. Because people tell me that this looks better. So I'm like, okay. Yes. But I usually... Oh, I thought you were talking to me. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you bought the place. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. Nice save. So somebody, somebody sent me a new... a uh, message on facebook saying i like your new avatar right so brother this is the avatar i'm at home it's just that when i'm at work i usually wear my hair in a clip now that it is short even if i put it in a clip it comes out from so leave it okay hi simran hi karan singh hi nani hi bhaiya hi shani hi how are you all hi shri devi is here wow good to see press your phone Lord knows it must Hello. be. Hello. Bye bye. Okay, so let's see. Hello. Hi, Bagya. Hi. Hi. Shall we wait for just a couple of minutes. Uh, make sure that you have some water. No. Then a pocket. I don't have a pocket. No, don't bring it. It's okay. Yes. Yeah. I'm very sure. Okay. Ah, I can go and get. No need. It's okay. It's raining. I don't know. That's not fair. Make sure you have some water. Okay. Yeah. Mm, I just don't get it. That's fine. You have no idea where it is. Call. <laughs> slowly, slowly. Yeah, yeah. So how are you all doing? How are things? They good do this. They very good do this. Good, nice. In Jakarta, it's not good. <laughs> the cases of COVID is more. Okay, so be the energy that will change. so while people are still joining us let's just sit quietly and put our attention on the breath hi bagya ma hi 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 kavita anirudh oh i was thinking how come kavita's voice is sounding like anirudh okay i <laughs> know <laughs> uh, my mom was eating so i joined the call for her so okay. yeah. so while she's eating you're going to represent her yes yes you don't have to you can be there on your own yeah i know i'm just uh, i just wanted to say hi also hi yeah <laughs> hi himanshu so do you believe do you believe that you have the capacity to shift and change things do you know that you have the capacity to shift and change things then what stops us from changing things we are so preoccupied with things on this plane <clears throat> that very often we don't have time for other things
but when we make time for the other things, then things in our life works better. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. I wish I could see you all. It's always nice when I can see people. Um, but if there is some problem with the audio or something, then then please. <clears throat> Um, feel free to. So while <clears throat> some other people are still joining, I would like you to put your attention on your breath, very gently, very slowly. and see whether you feel calm. You will. Let's do it together. You take a gentle deep breath in. Hold for count of one. And then release it slowly. Let the exhale be a little longer than the inhale. One more time. Breathe in. Hold. Release. Slowly. One more time. <clears throat> Breathe in. Hold. Release. Is anybody feeling better? Better as in lighter. Calmer, yes, thank you. When we are stressed out about something, anything, the breath automatically becomes sure. very shallow. And one way of uh, restoring balance and harmony is to put our attention on the breath and breathe slowly, gently, consciously. Okay. I have a question to ask you. Do you look forward to this call as much as I do? Yes, you do. Do you do, you do any contribution for the planet on other days? Very nice. See, the idea is this. <clears throat> Right now, the planet does not require us to be richer. What does the planet require? The planet requires us to be more conscious. The planet requires us to make more conscious choices. About 40% Almost 40% of the land on the planet is dead. Nothing grows on it anymore. The extensive use of pesticides and all that has killed the microorganisms under the earth 
that keep it alive and there is a network of work the work that they do that replenishes the earth helps things to grow the roots are strong enough to hold water so there are no floods and stuff like that but at the rate at which it is going i believe 60 years of farming activity can go on at this rate so today my request my my very humble request to you is every day for at least 3 minutes to 5 minutes just imagine that you are sending loving energy to the earth that all the critters those tiny 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 organisms <clears throat> that keep the soil healthy uh, earthworms this that and so many others countless others are back in those barren spaces of that 40% of the land mass and that we are becoming more conscious in the way we function on the planet that our our lives are such that we believe in sustainable living that we are not doing one thing to destroy something else imagine having all the money in the world that you have ever dreamt of having but no planet to live on so somewhere now you might say what am I supposed to do about it? I'm not a farmer. I get that. But you still are a very potent, powerful creator. So what if you could uh, contribute to restoring the earth to a state of balance and harmony once again? What's the harm in us trying to do that? It will not take a lot of your time, just about three minutes, five minutes. Would you be willing to do that, please? Thank you. Okay. So, <clears throat> it's really, really very nice and very kind of you, each one of you, to make time to be here. Um, there are so many things that you might keep for the weekend, but that you have chosen to be here is something I'm extremely grateful for and honored that you are here. Okay, so drink some water, please drink a little water. And gently close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, make sure that you are safe, you're not driving, not using heavy machinery or even light machinery like a knife or something. Just sit, relax. As you sit with your eyes closed, reconnect with yourself. See how your body is feeling right now. Allow each breath to go in and heal the body some more, replenish the body some more, energize the body some more. And with the out breath, everything that is not required is going out. The plants, trees take what they require, and the earth, because it has magical capacities as well, it manages to 
transmute and transform the energy of what we have sent out that is not good for anybody and changes it. So all is well and we are safe. The earth is safe as well. With our exhale, nothing bad is going to happen. So as you put your attention on your breath, move from the head if you have been worrying about something, if you have been thinking about something, if you have been trying desperately to figure out something, <coughs> give the mind <coughs> a rest and move into your heart space, the space within you that has so much love in it, not only for yourself, but for the entire universe. You are safe at all times and you can come up into the present moment anytime you feel like doing that. Imagine every cell in your body vibrating at the frequency of joy and Gratitude. Feel the joy. And if something like this comes up as a question, like what's there to be joyful about? <clears throat> so many cases coming up, this is that, whatever it is, recognize that we are alive and we are breathing on our own. And that is enough reason to be infinitely grateful for. Continue to put your attention on the breath and let each breath be the loving energy of the entire universe, not just the plants and trees, but the entire universe coming into you with a desire to contribute to your well-being, to your happiness, to your prosperity, to your success, to enhancing the quality of your life. And as you breathe out, let that breath be one of gratitude. So there is a simultaneity of gifting and receiving that is going on. And if there are things that are on your mind or something that you are really bothered about, put your attention on the breath again and see how the body is willing to let go of what is not required. The breath that goes in, you don't hold it saying, no, I'm not going to let it go. The body is willing to let it go, knowing that the moment you breathe out, the next breath will be there for you. At this point, we don't know which tree, which plant, which weed, which whatever it is that is growing outside our houses is contributing to our breath, <clears throat> to our lives, but we are receiving it. So what would it be like for us to work on our receiving and be willing to receive everything with no point of view? <laughs> when you realize that everything on the earth has consciousness, has a vibration and that everything can be used either to heal or to hurt. The earth is always contributing to us. The question is, are we always contributing to Mother Earth as well? 
If your response is yes, that's amazing. If not, what can we change now? In nature, if you were to go and see in the forests and jungles or wherever it is out in nature, there's a constant state of creation, constant change taking place. What if we were to realize that we were we are not apart from nature? We are not apart from the earth, we are a part of it. And as such, what if we could also keep creating and out-creating ourselves moment by moment, every single day of our lives? The abuse of the planet is not just due to pesticides and agriculture being done with no consideration for the planet. Let's recognize, let's acknowledge, let us admit that every negative emotion that we feel destroys us, our health, our well-being and destroys the planet as well. So, what would it be like if we were to make a demand of ourselves to be so present, as present as I hope you are right now, to make a demand of ourselves that we will not be the ones to destroy the planet. We will be the energy, the space and consciousness that heals not hurts. In order to do that, we have to be willing to perceive everything in our lives from a different perspective, to find the joy in things that we tend to take for granted. Because one person being happy, one person being joyful can neutralize the anger energy of like 10 people. So right now, what if we could seek balance in everything, in the same way as the earth seeks balance? And the earth is aware, conscious and present every single moment. <clears throat> Imagine one quick spin and all of us would go flying somewhere. And for millions and millions of years, this planet, the only one that we have as a home, has been sustaining life despite everything. What if our energies could be the energy of change and greater possibility? Not only for us, but for the Earth as well. And what generative energy, what space and consciousness can each one of us allow ourselves to be, to be an infinite source of contribution? to the planet and its well-being. Where have we invented a lie that we are helpless, that we can't do anything? Where have we bought into the lie that nothing is in our hands, that nothing that we do can bring about the change that's required because it requires massive change right now. So everything that does not allow us to recognize that the level of consciousness that we are functioning from is a choice we have and we can always, always choose to upgrade and up-level our consciousness in a way that 
enhances not only the quality of our lives, but the quality of life on the planet. What would it be like if you never ever forgot how valuable you and your contribution really is to everything and everyone? What are you unwilling to perceive, know, be and receive about your own self that makes you shrink, constrict, diminish, make yourself small? What would it be like for us to be the level of consciousness, total presence, total consciousness, in a way that those who are choosing something else will feel invited to join us. So everywhere that we have bought into the lie that we are limited in our capacity to change, let us destroy and uncreate it all. Let us begin with ourselves, because we have within us the same elements that the Earth has. In other words, we could call ourselves an extension of the Earth. And because of that connection, because of that communion, what if just our desire for the planet to be in harmony, in balance, healthier than ever before. What if that alone is enough to bring about changes? And like I said, the extensive use of chemicals and pesticides has turned about 40% of the earth to a place where nothing can grow. So for a second or two, or a minute perhaps, let us put our attention and our energy, let's flow the energy of love and healing to all those parts of the earth that are asking for help now. And let people in and around those spaces recognize the need to give the planet time to restore itself to balance. It's a small contribution on our part, maybe a few minutes every day. But what if so many of us doing it will bring about change? If you believe in miracles like I do, I do believe sincerely that miracles are possible. To those who believe in them, so what if, miraculously, the land becomes more fertile, better than ever before? What if the presence of people like us who love the earth wouldn't be here if you didn't? 
what if people like us can be the majority instead of the minority? What if it takes less time than we can imagine for more and more people to choose more and more consciousness, to be more and more a contribution to the planet? You are a hope for a different possibility on planet Earth. And what if you, choosing to be that energy of greater possibilities, can change, transmute, transform life on this planet for not only us, but for every every thing that is upon the planet. So all you need to do is to gently imagine that you are an infinite being. You don't have to imagine, know it. And as big as the universe and from that space of expansiveness, look at the planet, which will then seem to you like a mustard seed and allow that energy of infinite possibility to touch every grain of sand, every bit of mud, dirt, the oceans, the waterways, the forests, even deserts, everything on the planet is receiving the energy that you are willing to contribute. The three most important things, the air, the water, the food, things that keep us alive, have all been contaminated. No bird, no animal, no insect has contributed to that. It's totally our doing. And so we are the only ones who can undo the damage that we have done. We owe it to the generations to come to leave the planet better than it is now. So with the willingness to know that you, as the creator of immense magnitude, can reach out and change things. And that will not only change the planet, heal the planet, help the planet, but it will help you to thrive as well. It's time we got off the survival mode and moved into the thrival mode. So that when you thrive, you are an invitation for everyone and everything to thrive as well. And with the willingness to choose that, and be that energy of the miracle that you are. Whenever you feel like it, you may gently open your eyes, please, with a big, big smile. Hello, everybody. Any feedback from anybody? Thank you, Meena. Went out to sleep? Okay, that's good. Thank you, thank you, Vivian.
Good to see you all. Now, when you said uh, send healing and love energy to the earth, and energy push started from me to the earth at that moment. Like you taught us on the last Friday call. Can you Thank you. Can you say that again? I missed the last bit. I said it started automatically. Yes. I mean to say effortlessly. I, mean, mm -hmm. I didn't have yes. to uh, like think. Thank you. If we were to stop thinking, a lot of things would work very differently. It's so wonderful. The yes. effort, the struggle, that would go. Thank you. I felt very happy. While I was doing, uh, a lot of joy was coming to me. Very nice. Very, very nice. I'm so glad. <clears throat> I was pulling the energy, energy, and at that time I felt like I'm in that roller coaster ride. I felt joy also. I sensed the joy, and I felt sense like I'm on a roller coaster. I said, "Wow!" Without spending that money going over there. <laughs> Still over here, after so many years, I got that. Uh, I could feel that experience. I can enjoy that thing. <laughs> Thank you so Good much. Good for you. You just have to close your eyes. Imagine you're on a helicopter. You're on a helicopter. You close <laughs> your eyes. Imagine you're on Mount Everest. You're there. You imagine that you've closed your eyes. You've raised your hands. You put your attention on your heart. Send a lot of energy to the planet. It's... It's actually simpler than most people think it is. Like Albert Einstein said, if you want your children to be successful, read them fairy tales. If you want them to be very successful, read them more fairy tales. So somewhere we've, we've uh, missed out on uh, the fairies, the fairy tales, the possibilities, the miracles. The news keeps us stuck. I will not say grounded because that's not the word I would want to use. But this is what it is, you know, the tremendous, tremendous capacities that that people have, that we as people have, is hardly ever explored. But like you said, you know, you went on a roller coaster ride while sitting in your own home. Isn't that amazing? It is amazing. Yes. Yes. It's like a uh, imagination is like thoroughly stamped out of us, you know, by the time we finish yeah. our, you know, education. If there are any teachers on the call, please, no offense. It's just <laughs> how the system is. Being very connective with the earth. Cool. And I was cool. saying, my daughter, this ma is connecting us to mother earth, another ma. <laughs> Wow, wow. Yes, and what did your daughter what say? did your daughter say? She just smiled. No. Oh thank God. Oh, thank God. I, I said she was, I was just looking at you, so I said, This is a ma and she's connecting us to Mother Earth. Another Ma. So I was feeling happy oh, and there are tears oh, in my on. eyes. Yes. That's nice. That's nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you oh, so much. Yeah. Uh, is it echoing for anybody else? Is no. the sound echoing? No. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so I couldn't pick a story. Uh, so I brought 10 books. <laughs> 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 so I'm going to read something that hopefully you will find funny. And if not, even then I w wish that you would just laugh because laughter heals, right? So Grandpa and Grandma had quarreled and Grandma was so angry she would not speak to her husband. The following day, Grandpa had forgotten all about the quarrel but Grandma continued to ignore him and still wouldn't speak. 
Nothing Grandpa did seemed to succeed in pulling her out of her sullen silence. Finally, he started rummaging in cupboards and drawers. After this had gone on for a few minutes, Grandma could stand it no longer. What on earth are you looking for? she demanded angrily. Praised be God, I found it, said Grandpa with a sly smile. Your voice. So if you are, if, if it is God you are looking for, look somewhere else, <laughs> not where you are looking. Okay. How many people laughed? At least smiled. Okay. How many smiled? Okay. <laughs> so if you haven't smiled, then I'm going to read you on a small story. You have to smile louder this time. Okay. That's a clever dog you have there, said a man when he saw his friend playing cards with his dog. Not as clever as he looks, was the reply. Every time he gets a good hand, he wags his tail. So, what change would you be willing to institute today for yourself? You don't have to tell me, just have to tell yourself. Starting now, I'm choosing to let this go, whatever that is. Or starting now, I'm going to add this to my day whatever that is. So, how many people find it difficult to let things go? How many people find it difficult to let it go? Let whatever go? Is that Amit raising his finger? Yep. My small stay there with you. Okay. Bimla ji. What's the problem with letting go? I practice it, but it, it sometimes comes back. Then again, I have to practice it. So that is the way it goes. So keep practicing, you know? Mm, that's what I keep doing. Hmm. You want to be perfect. Don't look at perfection, look at excellence. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, you are the person who is going to show people how easy it is to let go of things. Okay, Amit, are you, are you ready? Okay. Are, you, are you willing to be the one to show people how to let go? Yes. Take a, take a breath in and let it go. <laughs> Were you able to? Okay, okay. Is that easy? The body knows. Okay. I'm not yes. going to suggest this to you because you're just recovering from whatever it is you're recovering from. But let's all try this. We take a breath in and we hold. How long could you hold it? <laughs> Somewhere, sometime, you have to let it go. So the body knows how to take in and the body also knows how to let it go. So wherever it is that you have bought into the point of view that letting go is very difficult, you have to be willing to Change that point of view. What if letting go could be as easy as an exhale? What if it's a choice? Okay. So are you, 
Are you all done? Is there anything you want to say? Is there anything that you want to ask? If you don't, I will read you another story. Oh, okay. <laughs> From other thing. So one night, a fisherman stole into the grounds of a rich man and cast his net into a lake full of fish. The owner heard him and set his guards upon him. When he saw the crowd searching for him everywhere with lighted torches, the fisherman hastily smeared his body with ashes and sat under a tree, as is the custom with holy men. The owner and his guards could find no poacher, though they searched for a long, long time. All they found was a holy man covered with ashes, sitting under a tree, absorbed in meditation. The next day, word spread everywhere that a great sage has, had designed to take up residence in the grounds of the rich man. People gathered with flowers and fruits and food and even a lot of money to pay a homage to him for they believed that he had tremendous gifts when the, which made him a holy man that if they believed he could, he could bring God's blessings upon the giver. <clears throat> so they gave him lots of things. The fisherman turned sage was astounded at his good fortune. It's easier to make a living on the faith of these people than by the toil of my hands, he said to himself. So he continued to meditate and never went back to work again. Why am I reading this to you? Because we have made life so difficult. We have made it like, oh my God, I have to do this and I have to do that and so difficult. What if that is just an interesting point of view we have? So what, what would it be like for you to be the ease that allows life also to show up with equal ease? Would you be willing to do that? Please. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Anybody has anything to say? Otherwise, we will say good night and God bless. Yes. Chris, did you want to say something? Mama, no, by I just said bye, ma'am. Oh, you yeah. said bye already. Okay. okay. It's late for you as well, right? Is it? I mean, yeah, um, I have five minutes. <laughs> it's been a long day, though. It's been a long... And it's raining there, right? My yeah. Yeah. It's raining there. And I had a three-hour... Call before this. Uh, personal session with two people. <laughs> yeah. So, are you feeling physically also more relaxed, feeling better? Okay. Good. Will you also contribute to the planet every day, please? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Actually, when we are contributing to the planet, we are actually contributing to ourselves also. I see what he'll do now. We'll all contribute to you because you're doing so much good work, the planet will be better. Ah, that's a good uh. idea. <laughs> you do contribute to me so much. Hey, thank you. Okay. So, thank you so much once again for joining us on the call. I hurriedly read about three stories, I think, or four, I don't remember. But what I'm actually trying to uh, share is that everything is a matter of perspective. I think the page 97, open page 97, 97, ah yes, see I'm right. <laughs> nice. The master was in a mellow mood and the disciples were inquisitive. Did he ever feel depressed? They asked. He did. Wasn't it 
also true that he was in a continual state of happiness, they persisted. It was. What was the secret they wanted to know? Said the master, this everything is as good or as bad as one's opinion makes it. So what would it be like for us to change all our points of view that don't contribute to us and therefore will not contribute to the planet? Would you be willing to do that please? Yes. And every day as you sit and contribute to the earth, include all life on it, people, um, animals, birds, insects, plants, trees, forests, waters, everything. And the moment you say everything and everyone is included, guess what? They are. Yeah. Okay. Thanks again. Many Thank blessings you, to each one of you. Thank you for your Have time. Have a wonderful, wonderful month. And I look forward to seeing you next month. Yes. Thank you. See you. Bye. Bye. Good, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. And, uh, no, you. Somebody is saying something. Anybody saying anything? Okay. Bye, people. Thank you. Bye.